Hi there, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a full bust adjustment to your one-piece swimming suit. For this tutorial, I will be using the Amelia one-piece swimming suit. This is a pattern by the Divi Club. We have some darts on this particular pattern, so if you are using your own basic one-piece swimming suit, you may not have darts in your pattern piece. We've added these so that we don't get so much compression on the bust of the swimming suit. This is particularly beneficial for women with larger breasts. So we have an arm side dart in the misses and plus, and then for our plus sizes, we have an additional side bust start that um, gives you that fullness. So if you are not using a pattern with any darts at the bust, then locate your apex by holding up your pattern piece to you and marking the fullest point of your bust and that will help you follow along with what we are doing because we will be using this dart to really locate the apex for this project. Before you get started, you're going to need a few things. You'll need a marker or a pen, some tape, a ruler or seam gauge, and some sort of a straight edge. And then of course you will need some paper to be putting on the back of everything so that we can make our adjustments and have a finished pattern to work with. Another thing that you will need before we get started is to know how much to adjust the pattern for. We have a tutorial on the Dibby Club website. Search, um, go to dibby.club, search FBA, and you will find our tutorial on how exactly to know how much you'll want to adjust for. So let's go ahead and get started making this adjustment. The first thing we're going to do is mark up the pattern. So I'm going to make a line about a centimeter below the tip of my arm side dart here. And then I'm going to draw line A parallel to my dart up into the arm side. Now I'm going to mark about I'm gonna mark about two inches down from the base of my arm side. So that's roughly about, about here. If you are using the plus size pattern and have a side dart, then you will be marking down to the middle point, the center point of the side dart. So just like this dart protrudes out at a tip, this marking for your plus size swimming suit will come to that tip, okay? Because we want it right smack dab in the middle of that side dart. And this is going to be line B. Now we're gonna come up just a bit from, I have a side notch right here. I'm gonna come up just a, a little bit above the side notch and make sure that my line is parallel to the floor if we were to be wearing this suit. I'm going to come out and make sure I get this nice and straight. Come out from the side. Okay. And then come perpendicular to that line straight up to this point right here. So, so far we have four lines drawn. We have line A, line B, line C, and line D. This is going to be the starting point before you get cutting. Now go ahead and grab your scissors and we are going to cut through all of these lines. This is going to give us what we need to uh, slash and spread our pattern. And then of course, all of this will be taped back together once we are finished with this adjustment. Okay, you are welcome to keep little edges of things um, together so that you kind of make hinges, but for the sake of this tutorial, I have it all free. 
So now we're going to go ahead and spread and pivot this for the adjustment. We need to make room side to side for your bust and we need to add some length for it because your bust, the fuller it is, the more vertical height you're going to need for that. So let's say that my adjustment amount came out to one inch. So I have my seam gauge right here to help me along. And I'm actually going to go ahead and grab some of my scrap paper already and slide this in behind here so that I can kind of tape as I go along. And I'll show you where to tape so that you have movement where you need movement. So I have this extra paper back here. And here's my original pattern. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape this up top here, just to keep it all together. So now I'm going to take line A, take these two free pieces like here, right here, and pivot them at this corner here. So we're gonna pivot it so that it comes out your adjustment amount. So my adjustment amount was one inch. So I'm gonna put my seam gauge on the corner here and pivot these out so that there is one inch between, this is a horizontal measurement. We're not measuring this way on the, the angle of the pivot. We wanna measure out horizontally, which is why a seam gauge is really nice way to do it because we have these prongs on it to help make it obvious. So with this pivoted out, and I'm making sure that my corner is still in its original position. I'm gonna go ahead and just tape at the top here to keep it where I want it, okay? So now with it all matched up, it should look like this. So at this point, we need to pivot at this spot here. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little. Okay. So we're pivoting right here now. And we want to pivot so that line C down here is now parallel to the floor like it was originally. We don't want it up like this. We don't want it down like this. It needs to be straight. And once again, make sure that you keep these tips together. So now with everything where it should be, I'm going to tape it down. Then I'll go ahead and tape right here, middle spot, add another piece on the side and right here. So now all of this is pretty secure but I still have movement at the bottom of the body here. That's gonna be imp important in just a second. Because now we're going to cut from our original line C straight across all the way to the other side of the body. To do this, I'm just going to grab my straight edge again and continue this line all the way across. and then I'll cut off the bottom there. Now we need to drop this so that the top of our bottom piece is now even with the bottom of the slashed and spread piece right here. This is the vertical length that we were talking about that we're going to need to add. Without this, it would be too short with the lift of your bust. Go ahead and tape these together there. Tape it here. And tape it here. Before you go any further, take a second and measure how much length you are adding with this FBA. You're going to want to know this measurement 
for the future when you're ready to height adjust this because you will have already added in this extra length. So when you go to the height adjusting section, if you add in more length without taking this into account, then it will be too long. Okay, so now at this point, we are going to kind of reshape this because all of the adjustments have been made, but it doesn't really look like a pattern piece anymore. So the first thing we're gonna do is come on the side here and connect this line. And now we have this curve way out here and it comes in at a quarter and then it's flat here. So what you need to do is redraw this side seam. If you are using the plus size pattern, you will have some dart legs hanging off the side here. You will start at the tip of your, the, the ends of your original dart legs to bring this in. If you are working with the Mrs. file like I am, these are now our new dart legs. So what we, all we have to do is really, I don't have my French ruler with me, but you're welcome to use that. We're just gonna connect from the bottom dart leg to the side seam. So I know it's a little tricky to see in the, the video camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make this line darker so you can see where my original side seam is. So now, let me draw over these lines too so you can really see it. So that's the new side seam of the pattern. Now we have something that looks like an actual pattern. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. There we go. So we've got it all arranged from the base of this, this arm side dart here. We've got it slashed and spread. We've got some width and some um, length added in. And now we have this new dart that we need to redraw. How we're going to do that is take a little, make a little marking. I'll go ahead and zoom back in again. We're going to make a marking that is straight across from the point here, okay? It's right underneath our original apex point where we did the slashing and spreading away from. So I am directly over onto that line. Now I will take my straight edge and let me actually go get a different colored marker for this. With my straight edge, I'm going to connect the uh, ends of my new dart legs, which are here and here. Once again, if you're using the plus size pattern, you're gonna have your dart legs hanging out a little bit. And I'm going to connect them to this new point. And there is my new side dart. Now, whenever you have either drawn a new dart or are adjusting an existing dart, you will want to add what is called dart bulk, which is the little part here that either jets out or jets in, depending on which way the dart is going to be laying. So we need to add in our dart bulk right here so that it matches up with the side seam correctly. Adding in dart bulk is very, very easy. All you'll want to do is make sure that you have your paper already taped in place behind your adjustment. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add another couple pieces here to keep it all secure. And now you need to decide which way you want the dart bulk to be falling down, um, falling flat against the pattern. So meaning once you sew the dart, do you want the dart bulk flipped up or do you want it flipped down? Since this is on my side, I want it flipping down. All we're going to do is take our pattern here, keep it together. Let me take this one more spot, here we go. So we're going to pretty much fold together the dart. So we have a center point here, center line, leg, leg, dart tip. And we're going to fold it up so that the points of the legs are together. Okay, so you see that? I have my legs 
joined at the side seam here. I'm gonna go ahead and just fold it right there. Don't worry about the rest of it. With this little bit of tape, which we will remove in just a second, grab your scissors. And now we're gonna cut to the side seam here. And then we're gonna cut through all of, there's gonna be some extra paper behind you. And cut it so that all of the extra is gone, okay? So now I'm gonna go back and either pull off this tape or you can cut it off. And just like that, you have your dark bulk. Since mine's facing down and it comes in, mine actually has a V that's pointing in a little bit. So if I were to make all of these markings a little darker for you, my finished dart would look like this. So you'll go ahead and sew in your new side dart and the original arm side dart. And this is going to give you all of the extra room that you'll need for your full bust adjustment. And then you can just continue forward with the rest of the pattern. You will not need to make any adjustments to your back pattern piece. I know it seems like they won't match up, but with this dart sewn in, your existing back pattern piece is going to match up perfectly with this newly adjusted front pattern piece. And that's really it. I hope this gives you the confidence you need to make your own full bust adjustment so that your swimsuit can fit you beautifully and perfectly and comfortably. Please like, comment, and share this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos.